Hi, Charlotte here from MD Needle Pen. I wanted to talk to you about the three different cartridges that we sell. We get a lot of questions about these cartridges and how to use them. So I thought I might go over that a little bit with you. Uh, first of all, we have the nano cartridge. Uh, the nano cartridge have no regular like needles that are actually the 12 pin and the 36 pin. They have uh, silicone pins that only penetrate down to 0.15 millimeter in the epidermis. I'm going to try to show that here. So you see it's kind of like a plate and on this plate there is a uh, nano pins. And these nano pins are actually um, very, very thin, so they're a third of a strand of a hair, so super, super thin. Uh, the nano cartridges you can uh, use for nano needling, or you can also call it nano skin refining. Um, you can use those cartridges and do the treatments every week, actually. There's no downtime, there's no pain, and you don't need to use any numbing, and it's no state board regulations on the nano treatment, so any esthetician in any state can actually use these. So that's the nano cartridge. We also, of course, have the 12 pin cartridge that almost everyone is using. You can use the 12 pin cartridge uh, for any skin condition and any skin depth. Um, obviously you won't do it on active acne or um, severe rosacea, but otherwise you can use the 12 pin on anything. So you can use it from 0.25 down to 2.5 millimeter. And um, the, no, the 12 pin cartridge looks like this. I'm gonna show you. So have 12 needles, so they look a little different than the nano cartridge, as you can see. So it's 12 needles. They're all 33 gauge on these ones. Uh, used on any skin condition and any skin depth. And then we have the 36 pin. So the 36 pin have the same diameter as the 12 pin, um, but it have 36 needles on it. Uh, the 36 pin is more for ep uh, epidermal pigmentation, melasma, and also uh, fine lines and pore sites. And they look like this. So you can see the needles, but you can also see there's a lot more needles on it, but they have the same diameter as the 12 pin. So um, people get confused about this. When should I use the 12 pin and when should I use the 36 pin? So I would definitely say the 12 pin is you know, you can use it for anything, but if you have patients that have uh, melasma and that's their main concern or um, epidermal pigmentation, or maybe someone that is a little younger and uh, they're not really looking for the collagen stimulation, which obviously everyone should do. But if you feel like you're not gonna go deeper than 1.5 millimeter, then you can use the 36 pin. And the 36 pin will break up the pigment a little bit better, um, but I don't, I wouldn't recommend to use two cartridges for one client. So if they come in with, say, they have some um, some elasma, sorry, some elasma, and also um, maybe they need some skin tightening, they have some scars, I would definitely use the 12 pin because you can go down all the way to 2.5 with this one. The 36 pin uh, recommended uh, deepest needle depth would be uh, 1.5. Um, and also all the conditions that you can use with the 36 pin, you can definitely use the with the 12 pin. So I hope that that helped a little bit. Um, so again, 12 pin can be used for anyone. If you have someone with melasma, epidermal pigmentation, uh, fine lines and pore size, and they're maybe a little younger or you just want to focus on that, then use the 36 pin. Otherwise, again, you can use the 12 pin and you can just turn the needle depth uh, up and down on the pen. Uh, I hope that helped. And uh, please, you can always email us uh, if I didn't answer all the questions. Um, also, um, uh, here in the feed, you can also leave messages. Thank you.